We are here with another draft on NHL 24. Oh, we are so back. For today's draft challenge, I am going to be chaining the name of players. So, for example, if I take Ovechkin, or Carlson, or Wilson, or Malkin, or Carlson, then I could take Nichushkin next. For the most part, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. I think you can get yourself into some pickles here, but overall, I don't think it'll be too challenging. Will we be good? We're gonna find out. And which team are we representing today? Boom! It is the Detroit Red Wings. Okay, look at all these people trying to tell me what to do. Get out of here, owner. Get out of here, jabroni. I'm not having it. I'm not having it. Oh, we are gonna have pick number... 18. Yeah. Oh wait, no, I didn't turn fantasy draft on. Let's run it back. Do you see what you did, Jabroni? You distracted me. Here we go. The trickiest part of this draft. Head coach edit lines, no. Player morale, no. Yes. Okay. I think we're fine this time. Famous last words. Obviously, I'm not going to change my prediction. Although I feel like I'm not going to nail it now. Because it did change. 26. What do we have to work with here? Crosby would be a bad one, because then we'd have to deal with why, and I don't think that would be too easy. Nail Yakupov, where are you at? Marchand could link into Dobson, and then we'd have N, which shouldn't be very difficult. Or we could take Sebastian Aho, play him with Ovechkin. I think that's probably what I'm going to do, actually. Center two-way forward with 94 passing. You and Ovi are going to be phenomenal together. Also, I just realized that Ovechkin is down to 89 overall now. Feels bad, but justified. We could take Nugent Hopkins. That's not bad. The only problem is that he's another center. Darnell Nurse, we get a defenseman. What about goaltenders? Anyone here? No. Nurse with an E. We might be able to get Ekblad. I feel like E is somewhat common. And then Nugent Hopkins obviously ends with an S. Just for the Simple fact that we don't have a defenseman yet. I'm going with Darnie. Oh, he is left-handed. That is beautiful because my boy Aaron Ekblad is right-handed. We're going to have to find someone whose last name starts with a D, but I'm sure we'll manage. Dumba? Duchesne? Tenders of the goal variety are falling off the board quick. So I'm kind of concerned. Duchesne sets us back to E. He's only making 3 million though, which is actually very, very reasonable. All right, Matt, welcome aboard. Oh, I like this one a lot. I really like this. Ekholm gives us a new letter, letter M. Might be able to get a goalie. Just spitball in here. But that is going to be my pick. Merzlikens. Then we have S. I mean, 84 overall isn't the end of the world. Cap space is running out awfully quick though, considering... We have only drafted seven players. I want to take Spurgeon as much as the next guy, but I am slightly concerned about our cap right now. Center slash left wing. He has two abilities. We do have two centers. Yeah, fair point. But he is slash left wing. I think Duchesne is also... Maybe he's a winger? I'm not sure. I could just go check and it would take two seconds, but I'm not going to do that. Chandler, Stevenson, and at 2.75, you have yourself a deal. Actually, I guess we kind of have the deal. Ooh, need a writer, and that also gives us our first right winger and a new letter. Four million isn't too bad. Yeah, absolutely. Another new letter making 5.1... That one kind of hurts. Tage Thompson's still here, right? Come on. So we could go with Tanev. But 4.5 is just a little bit steep for me. He still has 92 face-offs. And he's making nothing. I mean, he doesn't have a contract, but... Hmm. How does that work? Gonna find out. Riley Smith would have been ideal. But again, 5 million this late, considering the picks we've taken unreasonable. Do I take the Intimidator or do I take Savard? I'm taking the Intimidator because he's making 2.75 and that is actually a significant drop off. All right, I've found our lad. It's going to keep us on the same letter, but 81 overall and making less than a mil. Me thinks it has to be done, so it will. Namesnikov for a depth left winger. He is a playmaker. Have we gotten anyone that starts with the letter V yet? I don't think we did, because I believe we had the opportunity to, but went with someone else. So let's try it out. Vasilevsky. I'm just saying. Or we could knock the goaltender position out and draft Dan Vladar. 
And I will be doing that. Jan Ruda continue adding to our absolutely insane defensive core. Yes, sir. Pontus Aberg. Aberg. Anderson. Mr. Anderson. Not at 5.5. Tell you that for free. Athanasi would have also been nice if he wasn't making 4.2. Now we're talking my language. Amadio. Michael. Less than a mil. Considering we only have two picks left after this guy... I think it's valid that we take on 4.7. Maybe get some depth goal scoring. Maybe not. What are we looking at here for handedness? Right, left, and then left, right. Perfect. So we just need one left-handed defender, and we're chilling. All right, so a new rule. I am going to find a forward whose last name starts with an N, but doesn't end with one. We actually have two options here. So we have Nieto, and we have Nosek. So I'm going to check the defenseman real quick. I believe that... Probably the letter K is going to give us a better option. Kulikov, and he is left-handed making a mil. So, yep, done deal. Welcome to the team, Thomas. And last, and kind of least, welcome to the team, Dimitri. That was unnecessary, Dimitri. I apologize. You did not deserve that. So this is what we're looking at. Holy trombones in a tuba factory. I think we have a good team. What do we have here? Edit lines. Your Detroit Red Wings have a plus five on the first line. How many times do I have to tell you no, Jabroni? How many? Chandler's going to be our second line center. And then we've got Niederreiter and Rust. Okay, yeah, it's good. Duchesne going to be the first line right wing. So he is center slash right wing. Awesome. And defensively, we have a plus three and then a couple of plus ones. Absolutely outstanding. I'm a little worried about this area. Not like a lot. Just like a... Minor concern. Just trying to make sure I recognize all these names. People we drafted. Looks good. Looks good. And last but not least, goaltenders. Yeah. All right. Cool. So, I'm going to say that Ovi gets the most points with 82. He's going to be exactly point a game. And I'll say that we make the playoffs with 45 wins. Now let's head over to the calendar. Not an ideal start. 0-2-1. But that's going to change just like that. We beat the Pity Pens. So what you're telling me is we're not making the playoffs. That's sort of what I'm getting here. Or maybe just a little bit of a shaky start because we are turning up the Jets here, people. Well, this is interesting. I'm going to absolutely decline that, but I appreciate your interest. How do we go all the way up to first in the division? And I say that we go on a three-game skid. Somehow still first in the division. What? How many wins are we going to have at the deadline? Is it going to be 34? Yes, it is. My voice is... <laughs> okay, I think we're good. I'm just going to point it out because it kind of bugs me. This guy did not tie his tie very well. Patrick Kane, we could bring him back to Detroit. But no, we can't, because that sort of defeats the entire purpose of the draft. What a trade! We have two firsts headed to Toronto in exchange for Neil Pionk and Timothy Jimothy. Zachary Hyman and Johansson headed to Buffalo in exchange for two firsts and Savoie. That's a big one. Arizona acquires Loshko and a first-round pick from Colorado in exchange for the Conn Smythe winner himself, Marcheso, a third. And Colin White. And on that note, it is time to finish off the season. We actually might end up with 45 wins. We are on that sort of pace. I don't want to root for us to lose or anything, but actually, no, we need to win. We're at 42. Okay. Come on. This could be it. That's a huge win. Yeah, there we go. And we are in the playoffs. If Ovi's point a game... I don't know what to tell you. We did get first in the division. 97 points, a pretty weak division. Well, it's like balanced, I guess, actually. Columbus gets the President's Trophy. They had 107. Over Chicken had more than point a game, which I'm happy about. He had 88, and then we got 85 from Seb. A nice amount from Duchesne. And how about Johnny Toes? Look at this guy go. I mean, yeah, he did kind of give us some depth goal scoring. Both goalies did quite well. Four shutouts for Elvis, one for Dan. Both sub three GAA. 50 points for Ekblad, and then it just falls right off. Casey DeSmith had the most wins with 43 and a 9-12 save percentage, 83 overall. That's crazy. Kachekov and Freddie Anderson both had 39. 
Very similar stats, actually. Kelmacar probably gonna get the Norris, but I guess an argument could be made for EK or Quinn Hughes. And it will be William Nylander getting the Art Ross. At least I believe. He had 44 goals, 109. Hughes also had 109. And then Kucherov and Matthews both with 108. Holy! Joe Pavelski! What a madman! So, like... Did Anaheim just not want to draft, or...? Columbus has Clayton Keller, Braden Shen, and Will Nye, the hockey guy, as their first line. Moore, Perfetti, and Joseph. It's like an okay team. Not a team I would expect to win the President's Trophy, though. What? And our first round opponent, the Ottawa Senatois. We have Brady Kachuk. Again. They just took back their player. McTavish and Eberle finish off that first line. Hagel, Kakanyemi, Palmieri. Boone on the third line is a little intimidating. And how about Ryan Strom on the fourth line? Bowen Byram and Neil... Pionk. I feel like for the most part, this kind of explains their playoff appearance. First three games, everybody knows the rules. That's a good start. Oh, okay, they take us down, but we get it right back. I'm gonna simulate the next two because they can't beat us in the next two. Don't you dare push a game seven. That's what I thought. Next up, it is the Tampa Bay Lightning. So let's see what their team looks like. Atta boy, Ovi. Oh, wow. Okay. They have Panarin, Malkin, and Marty Natchez. Cam Atkinson, Brock Nelson, and Taylor Hall. A ridiculous third line. They have John Carlson on their second defensive pair and Jeff Petrie on their third. Who's their goalie? Oh, it's a nervous guy. Well, we're about to make them all kinds of nervous. First three games, everybody knows the rules, and that is not a good, that's really not a good start. Like, at all. But you know what? Reverse sweep is definitely not happening. No, I wanted to stop it before someone won the cup so we could go look at their team. Well, that's unfortunate. We could still see who was on their team, but we won't be able to view the lines anymore. As a matter of fact, we can still view their lines, just in, like, a less pretty format. So... What is with people taking their players back? They got Kyle Connor playing with Beniers and Huberto. Then they have Velarde with Tuck and Burakovsky. Victor Hedman paired with Falk. Yeah, that's good. Hannafin on the third pair with Gio. Ingram and Nett. Okay. Buffalo finished 15th. And they have Matthew Kachuk, Dylan Larkin, and Zach Hyman. So that's a lethal first line. Genther Bennett and Marchman. It's a good team. I don't know if I would look at this and be like, yeah, they're going to win the Stanley Cup, but clearly I'm wrong. Ovi had seven goals, 12 points. He had his guy. Sebastian, yep, great job. Even goaltending was good. 917 and 282. Pretty much no points from defensemen, though. Flower was nearly sub 900. He just hung on and had a 310 GAA. I would love to know how they won the Stanley Cup. Even Ingram didn't do that well. 902-316. And then there's Bennington, who had a 921. Magnificent playoff run from EK65. Overpoint a game. You love to see it. Huberdeau will not be your Conn Smythe winner because he was on the losing team. Neither will Kyle Connor. It is going to be Matthew Kachuk. 27 points. Team awards are as follows. And individual we got... William with the art, not heart combo because you said, give me that. The Norris goes to Doughty. That's fascinating. That's two things right there that I did not expect. Kirill the Thrill, Lady Bing. Bedsy gets the Calder. Yeah, that's just going to happen. Con Smythe goes to EK65. Another trophy that I feel like just came out of nowhere. But I am here for it. Ingram had an unbelievable season, evidently, getting the Vesna and the Jennings. Pizik gets the Bill Masterton. Bembridge with the Jack Adams. Sidney the Kidney had a Selkie season. Jack Hughes grabbing his second trophy. And Kucherov gets the Rocket Richard. I didn't look at goals, actually. So, didn't know that. Here is your playoff tree. Unfortunately, it was a sweep in the finals. The Jets actually swept the Golden Knights and then went on to get swept. So that's kind of crazy. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you could leave a like, subscribe, that would be sweet. And yeah, if you have other draft ideas, go ahead and let me know. On that note, I'll see you soon.